Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through the basics of NordVPN on iPhone. By the end of this video, you'll know everything that you need to get started using this VPN. As always, if you want a more in-depth review, you'll find that and a ton more information in the description below. So once you go to the App Store and downloaded NordVPN, you'll open it up and there's going to be a bunch of countries that you can connect to. NordVPN has 165 countries available. That means you can connect to any one of these places and then any website site or app that you use is going to think you're in that location. For example, if there was a show on Netflix or a different streaming platform that was only available in France, you can go to Nord, you can connect up to the France location, and then once you do that, you can go over to the Netflix app and you'll be able to watch all of the content, every movie and TV show that's available on that streaming platform, whether it's Netflix or a different one, you'll be able to watch it as if you were in France itself. Of course, on top of all of that, you'll also have a more secure connection. NordVPN uses the highest standard of encryption, they have a verified no logs policy, which have verified that not only does NordVPN not leak out any of your personal information over the internet, but even Nord themselves does not have access to any of your personal data. But the thing to know with NordVPN is that these are the regular server connections. There's nothing special about these. They just will connect you up to a different place, get you access to content and services as if you were in that location and give you that security. But if you go to their specialty servers, this is where you're gonna have different locations for specific cases. For example, if you wanted to connect up to two different VPN locations, so that'll give you an extra layer of security, you can use double VPN. If you wanted to hide the fact that you're even using NordVPN, you can use obfuscated servers. If you wanted to connect up to the Tor network, you can use Onion over VPN, and this will first connect you to the VPN and then to the Tor network. So that will not only hide the fact that you're connecting to the Tor network, but it will get you access to Tor if the network that you're on does not allow it. And then lastly, there's P to P servers, which are optimized for file sharing and torrenting. Now there is one more here, dedicated IP. The thing is, this is a paid add-on. You do have to pay a little extra for this. And what it's going to do is give you your own unique IP address. So if you're visiting a site, a lot of financial and banking websites, they don't like seeing your IP address change. That's this number over here on the top, which is basically like your house address, but for your computer. So it lets other websites on the internet know who you are and where you're located. A lot of banks won't like to see that kind of thing changing and dedicated IP will give you your own unique IP address that will be used every single time. So for some people that might help them out a lot, but you do need to pay extra for it. So those are the different servers that you can connect to. Something else that's very important, if you go into the settings, you're gonna wanna find the VPN protocols. Now, this is how the VPN connects up to the internet. If you don't wanna deal with this, you can just click automatic and the VPN will try and pick the best one for you. But if you wanna go a step further, you can choose one yourself. Now, Nordlinx is gonna be the fastest and generally that's the best. Nord Whisper is designed to get through firewalls and restrictive networks. So that'll be for places like schools or businesses that might have have a firewall on the network. You could also try using it if you're in a place like Russia or China, Iran, all those countries that have very restrictive internet networks. Nord Whisper should help you get through and get better access to the internet. Lastly, you have OpenVPN, TCP, and UDP. Now these are fallbacks. These are going to be the slower options, but there may be certain situations where Nord Links is not gonna work. And in that case, you'll have to fall back to OpenVPN. And between the two, UDP is going to be the faster one. Now that pretty much wraps up the basics of getting started with NordVPN. With everything I've told you just now, you're pretty much good to go to get started using this VPN. The one thing that may throw some people off is that there are a lot of other add-on features to Nord besides for the VPN itself. So they do have Threat Protection Pro, which is like a mini antivirus feature. They have Dark Web Monitor, which keeps track and sees if any of your personal information was leaked out over the internet. They have MeshNet, which allows you to more securely connect your own personal devices for file sharing or remote desktop connection. But all of these add-ons are not really part of the VPN. They come with it. They're nice features, but they aren't strictly related to the VPN itself. A lot of people, when they first start out with NordVPN, tend to get overwhelmed. They see all of these different add-ons and they're not sure what's going on, where's the VPN. So just know that the actual VPN part of this app is actually not that big. 
So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want to find out even more about NordVPN or some of the other top VPN options out there, there'll be full in-depth reviews in the description. You'll also find discount links for NordVPN there as well to get you the best possible price and save you some money. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.